everybody, welcome to the Sam Livecast. It's a brand new week. We got new food happening today. Max is behind the camera. Lynn, Master Chef, in the control room. Everything good, boys? Fantastic. Great. All right, you wanna know what this week is? Yes. I've hinted at this week before. Yeah, I've talked scared. about this week before. Don't be scared. Ready, right here, here's your shot. Scared. I'm about to unveil, ready? One, two, three, boom. Oh, it's spam week. Spam. Don't make a face. Why Max is already making oh a face. My gosh. But today, today, it's not just spam week. You ready for what it is? Oh Come right here. Sorry. I don't just mean it's spam. It's spam week. I just don't mean today's spam day. Right here. Ready? Yep. One, two, three, boom. <laughs> it's bacon spam day. What is bacon spam? Bacon spam. Wait I a second. I have no idea Wait what a that second. is. There's a giant universal question right there. What the hell is even spam? Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. So look look I mean, at these two items. They're in a can. All right. And here's what we're going to do. Spam is clearly an acronym for something. <laughs> Space 8, whatever. Here's what spam looks like. God, when you open it. I've never cooked with spam. It's gonna go Everything's going to be a mystery. Look at Ooh. that. Look how great that looks. Wait, Faye. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Yikes. And it's protein? It's, it's a meat-like substance. It's a... It has real bacon in there. I don't know what the hell is in this shit. Let's see. Here we go. I don't even think there's... I can't find it. I don't know what the hell spam is. Guys, it's... I know it's fully cooked and ready to eat. Ingredients. Pork with ham, salt water, modified potato starch, sugar, sodium nitrate. It's not that bad, actually. So it is protein. Oh, yes. Yeah. Is it liquidy? No, it's not liquidy. So how do you get it out? It comes out eventually. It Just comes out? Run, run a knife in there. Huh? Run like a little like kitchen or like a butter knife in there. Are you kidding I think me? you can just spoon it out, yeah. I don't want to no, spoon it. No, no, it comes it. out whole and you can cut it and slice well, it. Well, how do you know that? Why do you know this? I used to eat spam all the time as a kid. I don't like it. All the time? Yeah. It's the stuff that you eat when... Here we go. You don't have a whole lot of money. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, look at that. I hope we haven't lost anybody. I'd hate to lose people because of spam week. Although. And there's a little gelatinous thing going on yeah, here too. That's, that's that, the protein. That's the mess. worst word ever. Gelatinous? Yeah. God. I mean, it's like Hawaii's national food. Oh yeah, it's a big deal in Hawaii. There's all kinds of stuff. We're, look, we're gonna try and make it decent today, okay? So here's what I wanna do. Oh, it really sticks to it. <laughs> Forget the fact that this is a Grant and Edge knife that things aren't supposed to stick to. It just does not want to cooperate. Wait, wait. <laughs> Listen. There's no sound, man. Oh, you, you should get your mic down there. I can oh, hear no, the spam me. being cut. Yeah, I think it's screaming. No, there's a sound. It's like a squishing sound. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get you to listen. Okay, so I got a hot pan. Sorry, with uh, now I got smoking. All right, so here's what we do. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make little tiny pieces. I haven't told you what we're gonna do with it yet, but I'm gonna in a second. Little spam Good mats. Lord, no. Look at that, that looks like. So, just a, 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 I'm making a little dice, but really I don't need it in a dice. I want it, once I do this, now here's, let me put this back in its can. Oh God, it slides down in a really eerie sort of way. <laughs> so I just want this like in bits. I want spam bits. Spam tartare, anybody? Uh, well, it is fully cooked, Lynn, so it wouldn't be tartare. Yeah, in fact, true. we should, okay, I'll try a piece. Look at that. Uh, That's creepy. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't taste like bad or anything. It's it's it's, it's pork-ish like. It's like ham-like. Okay, but here's what we're gonna do now. Do you think the dogs would eat it? Oh, they would the eat dogs. Oh yeah, they'd eat the hell out of this, man. You can tell it's got like a scent on it, like an animal would really dig. Okay, super hot pan. It little, is. Little bit of oil in it, and now, and now the spam will go in. Uh oh. It doesn't move around. I will say the crispy bits it on the spam. Move no, I mean, it's, good. it's stuck. You did it. Maybe it was so hot. 
but we want to get this a little bit crispy. Yeah. See, I think the key is developing flavors in this lint. Yep. I don't mean to sound like Master Chef, but <laughs> really, Spam by itself is kind of creepy, though it is served with like sushi in Hawaii and served on masubi, which is that little like triangular lump of rice with a slice of Spam on top. It's smelling sort of bacon-ish here. And then held together with seaweed. So check this out. While I'm doing that, in this pot, I've made rice, okay? And this is a packaged rice. <laughs> well, nothing's, nothing's original today. This is packaged wheat, basically. It's packaged wheat, right. Okay, we're working on this. This is actually getting better. This Here's what the rice is. Pure college food right here. Right. It's baby back rib rice. <laughs> I know, seems bizarre what we're doing here today. But I used to eat that stuff all the time when I was in college, man. Oh, you did? Yeah. It's fun. It's good, I like it. All right, so I gotta get out what we're doing here, which is these, which is these. Four ramekins. Any sense of where we're going with this? No clue. All right. Individual dishes? You're making like a rice. Okay, so now I want to put some rice in here. I'm not making fried rice. I mean, it sort of looks like it. It's not fried rice. I don't know, like... Just wait for it. You're gonna be. You're gonna find it interesting. Oh, this, this I, is I already do find it interesting. Oh, that I'm using spam. Oh, that you're using spam and then packaged rice on top of that. Packaged rice. Well, I just wanted to make life easy. Yeah. For myself, I could have made some kind of rice, but I'll tell you what I like about this in a second. I'm like waiting for the punchline. You know. There is a punchline. It gets better. Okay. Here we go. Okay. That's done. Turn that off. Okay. Right now, I could just do this and just try that. I gotta tell you something. Right now, this is actually pretty good. So now the rice is going in these little ramekin guys. Uh -huh. Are you gonna top it with something? Yep. I'm gonna top it. Little rice pot pies? <laughs> Almost. Not exactly. Okay, last one. Now, the only question, the only question in my mind right now for everything that's going on right here is I believe that these are oven proof. <laughs> oh, yeah, they'll be fine. I'm not 100%. They'll be fine, though. Okay. Okay, so you see what we've done? Mm-hmm. Right. Ready for the next step? Can't wait. The next step looks like this. Indentation. Indentation. Where'd you find that perfectly sized Indentation. Ladle? <laughs> Indentation. I've done this before. Oh, okay. Two things coming out of here. Maybe only one thing. Eggs. Eggs. Oh, okay. We're doing okay. little baked eggs. I like this. So I need this. I need yeah. the salt, a little pepper. Max just sat down. He's tired. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about what happened to Max. Uh, here's what you need to do. Sorry. What you don't want, you're, you're kind of screwed if the egg breaks because you want the yolk. So the key is crack it into a little dish. Yep. And then pour it in here like that. Okay? Nice. <laughs> We're almost there. So that'll just bake right on top. Yeah. It's gonna bake right on top. And if we've done this, if I've if I've been living life the way I should, and when I say that I mean as a good boy, holding the door for senior citizens going through a store, 
being polite to my dogs and use the eggshell. Shit, I know. Use the eggshell. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Mother. Or not. <laughs> yep, got it. So will that bake just like right into a little fried egg almost? It's going to bake into, well, hopefully not fried, hopefully. Yeah, like over easy. That's I, I want, the goal is to keep the yolk. Oh yeah, okay. Runny, right? That's always the key. Okay, me. so a little bit of salt. Always, always a little bit of salt, right? Mm -hmm. A little pepper. <clears throat> and then just a little bit of this on top. Cheese, please. But you got to be careful putting it on, because if you put it on too rough, what's going to happen, Lynn? The yolk will there break. There you go. Thank you, wise words from Master Chef. Okay, my oven's at 375, and now we're going to give this about mm, less than five, right? Oh no, it's going to take. I think it's going to take about. I think it's going to take about ten. Really? Yeah. All right. So let's do it. Let's set the clock at ten. We'll check it. Uh, we have some great friends that we, we have some great friends that we all have. We all have. We all have dot com. We all have. Amazing olive oil. Amazing balsamic vinegar. Like I only have this much left. I've got to get some more. We love these guys. They have all kinds of stuff. And we love them because it's California only extra virgin certified olive oil. And you guys can't find that everywhere. Where you can't find it on the internet, we all have dot com. If you want to buy over the internet from them, Hit shop now, put my name Sam in there, you get 10% off anything that you buy. They're lovely people, it's amazing olive oil, they really have their shit together. And the best thing to do, if you can, get into a store, go into a store, they'll do the whole olive oil one-on-one for you, teach you everything you know, need to know and you can taste them and that's the way to find an olive oil that you like because olive oils are not created all the same, they don't all taste the same and just because I like one doesn't mean Max or Lynn's gonna like what I like. Way to find out, taste. Olive oil is the way to, I mean, an olive oil tasting is the way to do this. Olive oil, what am I saying? Weolive.com, check them out, you'll love them, just like we love them. Back in one second for a little conversation right here on The Sam Livecast. See you in a second. The Sam Livecast is brought to you by Fixtures Living. Check them out on the internet, fixtureslivingcom or on Facebook. You'll walk in one day the first time you're like this. This place is so cool. So we've all just been sitting here talking about how much we all like baked eggs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's great. Do you like them with bacon spam in them? Uh, that's the mm. question. Look at it just sitting there, all cute. And yeah, we'll find out. It with the real hormel bacon. I with guess, the other spam. And I guess it's supposed to have an egg because, look, it's right there. It's supposed to have an egg? Well, it's got one on the thing. Um, on the label, look, there's an egg. That's true. Well, spa oh, yeah, spam and eggs is kind of a classic combination. Mm. From Wikipedia, Spam is a canned, pre-cooked meat product. That just right there by itself is questionable. The product part is just... <laughs> pre-cooked meat product, which is a hot dog. A hot dog is a pre-cooked meat product. Yeah. A ham true. is a pre-cooked meat product. Can you buy ham not cooked? You. I've never cooked a ham. Can. But, you, but it's not easy. No, I would say buying like a leg of... A pig is not easy. Right. Yeah. Raw. Uh, made by the Hormel Foods Corporation, first introduced in 1937. Wow. Can I ask where Hormel is based out of? Yeah, sure. Um, I'll go find that out right now. Go ahead, yeah. I'm curious. No it's idea. based in Austin. There you go. Really? Minnesota. Austin, Minnesota, yep. not Austin, Texas. <laughs> yeah. Austin, Weird. Minnesota. Austin, <laughs> Minnesota. You tried Minnesota. to trick us. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> the product has become a part of many jokes of ur and urban legends about mystery meat, which made it part of pop culture and folklore. Whatever works, man. <laughs> God. But then In how 2007, how, the seven billionth can of Spam was sold. Somebody's eating this shit, man. Six billion to Hawaii. My question is, why did Hawaiians all of a sudden take a liking to the I don't, Spam I don't that's know. manufactured in Minnesota? But really. No clue. Do you, like, can you get a picture of Spam Masubi? Yeah, yeah, I have one right now. It's on Wikipedia, actually. Yeah, let's show that. People should. Masubi is, is really rice with seaweed wrapped around it. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's the, there's a Spam version. It's an ugly Spam version. There's de definitely yeah. nicer ones. But you could, you know what you could do? What you just did. You could chop it up finely, make some like bacon or whatever with it. And then yeah. you could put it inside the rice like it's a real roll. Yes, you could okay. do that. 
like Doesn't sushi, like a, a like a like a like a California roll, exactly. except no crab spam in the middle. Mm-hmm. Um, don't you just want to know what I'm doing the rest of the week with spam? Yeah. Well, what else do you have? I'm are you, are you going to make spam masubi? I'm not, He'll never tell us. No, I'm not going to make spam masubi. I'm going to do other things. Is there going to be a spam pasta? There may be. Oh God. Oh jeez. I'm not telling spam you. Spam burger. I'm not telling you. <laughs> like a spam salad <clears throat> instead of tuna, you use uh. spam. Wow, that's good. The Spin gelatinous salad, nice. aspect of that in the salad is kind of grossing me out. Only thing that would make it better, cold Spam salad. <laughs> <laughs> the radio show, Eat This, mm-hmm. Sam the Cooking Guy on 760 KFMB, Sundays at 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm. You can go to 760KFMB.com, find out where to watch it, on, listen online or on your phone. We've been on the air three weeks now. We've had two complaints. <laughs> about? First week, a lady complained about my language. What language? You can't say anything on the radio. Thank you. I think I said frickin'. <laughs> yeah. That had to be the only word that she was offended uh, by. I think you said damn also, but... I might have said damn. Yeah. Which, by the way, you're allowed. You can't say those ever, other seven words. You can say a lot of bad they say words. And words then on the, the second complaint <laughs> was me doing my Paula Dean impression. Uh-oh. And somebody called in and said, well, he's completely hypocritical. And the board operator, Justin, said, what do you mean by that? And she said... He's talking about Paula Dean getting in trouble for using the N word and making derogatory comments about blacks. And he's using a black voice to make fun of that. And he goes, No, ma'am, that's his Paula Dean voice. <laughs> what? They I didn't say it was su- good. I just said they it thought was. Your southern voice she was thought a black my person Paula voice? Dean was, was, yeah. Oh, man. No, it wasn't. We need to just like log all these people. But in both cases, he believed that the relative age of the caller was boop, way up there. (laughs) Way up there. So Max and I shoot this Bed Bath & Beyond stuff. You can go to blog.bedbathandbeyond.com and check out the videos that we've been doing. There's lots of them there. The other day, we shot... In a Bed Bath & Beyond store, which doesn't happen. They don't let this happen. And when I first broached the idea, I've got to check the eggs. Hold on. Go for it. When I first broached the idea, the Bed Bath people said, no, can't, not going to happen. Nope, not ready. That's not ready. That needs a solid another five minutes. Okay. Maybe six. I'll give it six. When I first broached the idea, the Bed Bath Beyond people go, you know, we know we can't shoot in our stores and stuff. I mean, there's been movies shot in Bed Bath stores. Have mm-hmm. there? Yeah, yeah. But they don't let filming for their own purposes happen in there. <laughs> and I thought it was, you know, company policy seemed a little silly to me. Anyway, just left it alone. And then we went to talk about shooting some pot and pan stuff. And I said, what better place to do it than where they all are? Let people see the wide selection rather than me having stainless and, and hard anodized on my counter. And they, they finally said, all right, you can do that. So this is a big deal. It was kind of a big deal for them to allow this to happen. Mm-hmm. It's a conservative corporation. Very conservative corporation. So the only proviso of the whole thing is we don't want to disturb customers. So you got to do it before work or after work. So we said, let's do it before work. Max lives in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. He would come down one, one night, sleep over uh, in, his own, in his old own bed. We'd get up super early, and we'd go to Bed Bath & Beyond, and we would shoot before they open. So that's what we do. He comes down. He sleeps over. We leave at 5 o'clock. We get there at 5.30 a.m. Wow. <laughs> We, get th- we start lining up the shots, talk about what we're going to do. We get like two shots done. And Max goes, my stomach doesn't feel very good. Just like, goes, I, I feel a little weird. I go, okay. Do you, mean, do you want to do anything? He goes, no, I'm okay. Another shot or two. Max goes, oh, God. I, I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> uh. Right? So there's like 10 people in the store. Who knows where they are? And he goes, where's the bathroom? But it's like this. Where's the bathroom? I got to go. <laughs> it like crept up on him. So he's like, it's a huge store, huge store. It's the biggest one in San Diego. Yeah. It's got a cost plus in the middle of it and <laughs> wine. I mean, it's like, it's the only cost plus and wine bed, bath and beyond in the country. I think, Hey, I've been to this one. It's a big one. Yeah. Max goes in search of the bathroom. I think it's this way. Was it that way? 
No, I went <laughs> totally the opposite way and ended up having to loop all the way back around <laughs> to where we were. <laughs> so he comes back feeling a little better. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. A couple minutes later. Now he's not feeling good again. He doesn't have to go to the bathroom. Now he needs to sit down because he's like getting a little lightheaded and stuff. Mm. And the stomach is still no bueno. Jeez, yeah. what did you eat? <laughs> Wait. So a little bit of time goes on. Now he's looking really bad. And he, I, I go, maybe, dude, let's just get you some fresh air outside. Yeah. He goes, I can't believe it. It's so hot in here. <laughs> I'm and like, I'm thinking to myself, it is not hot at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, get, I get hot really easy. <laughs> it's like yeah. freezing Max, <laughs> oh, yeah. Max, right? He's like, and I'm looking at him. And now he's starting to get shiny. So I know he's getting hot. Remember we go outside and yeah. it's like hotter outside. It's hotter than outside inside? than it was inside no air conditioning. Oh man. And now one of the clerks, because they're closed, she's got to unbolt the doors and open them <laughs> so we can get out. She starts to worry about Max. Marilyn, what a freaking doll she was. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, somebody will complain that I said freaking. Sorry. Marilyn, what a wonderful woman you are. Yes. So Thank you, Marilyn. Marilyn says, maybe he needs to get something to eat. Well, maybe that's a good idea. Max is Max is thin. He doesn't eat a lot. You don't eat a lot. And I, I was thinking, well, maybe you hadn't eaten very much. I don't know. But you had dinner here the night before. And did. so I give him my key, he gets in my car. She sends him over to a subway. He comes back with a Sprite to calm the stomach and a bag of chips. And, and, an, and an egg white, what was it? Egg white, bacon, cheese, flatbread. Flatbread. Those are pretty good, actually. It wasn't, actually, it wasn't too bad. Um, and he comes walking in like a renewed man, springing his step, happy, great, let's go. Start <laughs> shooting felt again. So much better. Start shooting again. Five minutes later, <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom. He says, and off he goes. Oh my god! Now he comes back from the bathroom. He goes, I can't believe how hot I am. And I swear to God, Lynn, I look at him. The water is pouring off of him. He goes, sure. feel my back. He lifts up his shirt, and it's like. <laughs> All what the way down. The I heck? cannot believe what is going on. Jeez. <laughs> and so now we've shot not very much. Certainly no B-roll. A couple of stand-ups of mine. But there's like this much more stuff to get of me on camera before we get B-roll. Mm -hmm. So what? now what do we do? Now he goes and he gets a chair. <laughs> and he sits the chair down. And the most <laughs> he can so do, brutal. the most he can do is turn on the camera Line up the shot a little bit, turn on the camera, and then he sits down like this. <laughs> Sometimes I was good enough to be able to put my headphones on and look at the screen. Pouring with sweat. He is, he's as white as this is right here. He's that color. And then it just goes from bad to worse, and now he starts throwing up. Oh. Oh, He's wait. come back from one of his bathroom trips with a handful of little Bed Bath & Beyond bags. And the poor kid now has to take a bag and go off into some random corner of the back, back part of the store and throw up. But nothing's coming out. And I'm not even thinking it's food. I think, holy shit, he's got like instant flu. These are all the flu symptoms that I get. Yeah. Hot, except, except it sweaty. happened in like an hour. <laughs> like right, except it's happening like that, right? It's like he's got the... Uh, like some weird plague that just hit like that. Hey. I woke up feeling a little bit off. Yeah. Actually, probably more than a little bit off, but that happens to me sometimes, and it always kind of burns off, especially if I'm waking up at 5.30 in the morning. Right. 5 in the morning, 4.30. Right. So I kind of ignored it. I had my coffee. I was uh, thinking, okay, we'll get there. We'll start going. I'll be fine. Sounds like you got the plague, man. Yeah. Right. So. Okay. So now we can't stay. Five more minutes. Really? Five more minutes, yeah. Uh, well, I had it at 375. That's Maybe I just need unbelievable to Unbelievable to me. More. 400. That's, you want the egg to be runny still, right? I want the yolk to be runny, but yeah. I don't want the whites to be runny, and that's where they are right now. What? I know. It's cu curious, isn't it? Yeah, I thought it's it curious. Is your oven working? So now, we finish those shots. We have to just shut everything down and come back. He's, I'm telling you, he is falling apart before my eyes. Mm-hmm. I go, you go to the car, I'll pack up everything. I pack up everything. I get in the car, start driving. I've got the radio on, trying to take his mind off it. He can't even hand that. Please turn the radio off. Now, out come the bags again. Now he's throwing up about half the way home. 
right? Oh, this is Poor so kid. Bad. I mean, really you know what? Bad. You feel bad when it's anybody. You especially feel bad uh. when it's a child of yours. Okay, so when did you get better? <laughs> so, all right, he gets home, straight to bed, boom. Straight to <laughs> Almost. Bed. So this is my basically shirt like in the process of trying to get it off my <laughs> sweaty body. This is basically 8:30, right? In the yeah, morning now. Now yeah. he sleeps till 1. He come down he comes downstairs at 1 o'clock. He's like a new guy. Anyway, I'm alive. He goes, "I'm alive." I'm like, "This is the weirdest <laughs> that thing." Had, and then had to be food poisoning. And we go like this. Food poisoning. But it couldn't be food poisoning. <laughs> what did Would you eat? He goes, "I had dinner here." I go, "So, if it was food poisoning, we would all be sick. And the people that we had over here. Like six, seven people ate that food. There's no way it was my food. We all don't have iron constitutions and you're just the one with the weak <laughs> yeah, body. Yeah. And I go, it's the weirdest thing, unless you ate like some random thing late at night. And he goes like this. Oh. <laughs> oh geez. Go, it oh hit what? Me. It hit me. What was it? <laughs> Mexican food. <laughs> that I hadn't had in a long time. He had he had a, a Rico's California burrito at 11:30 the night before. Oh gosh. And in thinking back, what did you say when you took your first bite of it? It was not fresh. It, <laughs> the tortilla was a little hard. Everything was a little cold on the inside. Oh god, it's just like it was just bad. Oh, oh my god. Sorry, okay, man. for people who are listening that aren't from San Diego who are, or don't get Mexican food very often, it's not normally This that is bad. not yeah, typical. No, no. no. no, no but these places are sort of hole in the wall. But yes. not, it's this, I've got, <laughs> I think I've gotten food poisoning like once, and it was at actually a nice restaurant in San Diego. That's I've gotten food poisoning at a nice place at White Spot in Vancouver, Max. Wow. Well, not a fancy place, but like mm -hmm. a very popular, yeah, heavily restaurant. trafficked place. You worry about places that don't have any business. Yeah, exactly. That's problematic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we can check these things. Oh, my gosh. Should we check these and see let's how we're do doing? It, let's hop in the kitchen. All right, let's go. All right. So here's what they look like. Hold on. Let me just get one of these guys off. How can I do this without burning the hell out of myself? Oh! I just about dropped one over the edge. That would be bad. Oh, that looks Jeez. dangerous, man. Here you go. Wow. Look at them. They're cool, yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah. Baked right. eggs. So let's cheese baked them. eggs. A little bit of cheese and that crazy rice. Mm. I still think it was too long, but prove me wrong. They look good. Boom. Oh, okay. they look great. Oh my God, that's perfect. That's nice. Right? I like that. That's great. Would you? It's got to be better to cook it longer at lower heat than faster at higher heat. You want one bite? Just a little bit of this. Oh, that's gonna be nuclear hot, dude. Ah, stop it. Don't be a baby. It's concern for your health, sir. So let's remember what we got in here. We've got the rice, whatever the. We've got baby back barbecue rib rice. We've got bacon spam. We've got the cracked egg, and we've got a little bit of Monterey Jack cheese on the top of the season. That's delicious. Honestly, that's delicious. When I went looking for rice, I didn't know which rice to get. And when I saw the, the barbecue one, I thought, spam, perfect. It's a pork product. It'll Wait. go perfect with this. All right. Huh? Oh my God, that was hot. Mm. Uh, barbecue rice spam okay. is great. Once again, we got great food, lots of fun. Thanks for hanging out with us. Spam week is just getting going, ladies and gentlemen. It's just, it can only go one way from here. Whoop, up. Not that this is bad but it's gonna get better. Thanks for hanging out with us. Tell your friends and tell a stranger. See you on Wednesday for more Spam Week. Thanks for hanging out at the livecast. See ya.